another tip. Talk with, not to the group. Consider yourself as being in a conversation with more than one person rather than addressing a group. Pause to let others speak or ask questions if necessary for clarification as you move through your ideas. That is, if you're not in danger of being interrupted or stonewalled. Use we and us language rather than you and I. Use terms that others will understand rather than lapsing into inside jargon of your department. Make eye contact with everyone around the table if you're sitting in a boardroom. You want to make sure that you're not reading from notes or staring at the floor or looking up or talking just to the one decision maker. That makes everyone feel included when you're talking to different people around the room. And if you disagree, do so without being disagreeable. Never let yourself become the victim of groupthink, you know, a condition in which group harmony becomes more important than the results from the meeting. If the purpose of a meeting is to generate ideas and get input, by all means, speak up when you disagree, but just don't be disagreeable. The difference is attitude. And finally, lighten up. The point you're making doesn't have to be perfect. Not all platforms and purposes are created equal. Your career won't just rise or fall based on interactions in every meeting. Granted, or some are high visibility, but if a particular meeting is not necessarily your meeting, jump in and participate, even without thorough preparation. Spontaneity still succeeds.